How you do folks? And welcome back. Here we are again. And today I'm just going to take through one of my stretch routines. Now when I say one of my stretch routines, I've only got two in all fairness. One is my north and south, that as you know I do about ten times a day anyway. And the other one uh, is one that I do about three or four nights a week, just on my rug in front of the telly or in front of the fire. Uh, and it's only about 10 minutes long. Now, the reason I'm going to do this video now is because apparently I keep banging on about how important it is to stretch. There's two reasons why I keep banging on about how important it is to stretch. One is no matter what sport it is that you do, stretching, as far as I'm concerned, is the most important key, no matter what. And number two, it gives you a wider range of movement to help prevent injury. Very important. So without further ado, I'm going to crack on. Uh, I'm going to just like... How I do with my training videos or even when I train not just in the videos I stretch at the beginning and I stretch at the end I also stretch at the beginning and stretch at the end when I do one of these stretches just as a little bit of a to monitor myself as such because however far I go down at the beginning at the end I should be able to go down a little bit farther because I stretch everything out or I put everything up so here we go then you know the score with the north and south put your hands on your chest look up you look down, you look up, you look down, elbows out, elbows in, your back slowly starts to arch as I go over, you let your arms flop, oop, it don't flow there, just relax for a second, then you either breathe it, grab your legs, or grab your feet if you can, and breathe all your air out and pull yourself down an extra inch, now looking at where I am now, after, I should be able to get a bit lower. And then slowly raise up. Support your pelvis. Now, when I support my pelvis, I use my knuckles. You can use the palm of your hands to do whatever is most comfortable for you. I just find my knuckles a lot more comfortable for me. And then you look behind you. And then raise yourself. Nice and straight now. Left hand, left hip, looking at your right palm. Don't just reach, you reach and twist. Open the gate and then stretch and point right up to your left. And then with your right hand point, your left hand push into your hip. And then throw your arm over. Right hand, right hip, looking at your left palm. Up and twist, really high. And then point over there. And then again, with your right hand and your right hip, Push. And then throw your arm out back. Oh, lovely. And then grab your ball and throw it behind you. Now, like I've said before, if I only go there, that's not very good. But as soon as I raise this heel and twist, right behind. And I look up there as far as I can. And then the other way, looking up there as far as I can. There you go. Throw the ball behind you. Just do that a few times each side. Oh, and that's me north and south. Right, now let's hit the deck. Hold on a second. Right, first off, flat on your back. Oh, and what we do, we stretch our arms out behind us and we pull our toes to our shins and stretch out as far as we can. And relax. Then we push your toes away and stretch out again as far as you can. And relax. Then raise your feet together in a comfortable position. Put your right foot on top of your left knee. And with your right hand on the outside of your right knee, just slowly let raise to the floor. Just for rest. Rest there for a second. And then with your right hand on the inside of your right knee, slowly push it to the floor. And then grabbing the outside of your knee, gently raise. And then swap your feet. And with your left hand on the outside of your left knee, gently lower your left knee to the floor. And then we round on each side. Brilliant. And then grab your side of your knee and gently raise. Feet together. 
feet out, knees up, knees in the chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and pull your knees into your chest. Then let your feet fall naturally where they fall. Straighten your right leg and then slowly lean to your right. Ignore that, it's probably just a salesman. And then straighten your left leg and see if you can touch the floor. Then bend in your leg, gently raise it, swapping your feet over. Oh, then lean to the left. And then straighten your right leg and touch the floor. Now if you can keep the back of your shoulders pinned to the floor, brilliant. I can't. This one's raised about an inch or two. And then bend your leg. Raise, feet together, legs up, knees in your chest again. Wrapping your arms around your legs, putting your knees into your chest. And then roll yourself up. And then we go on all fours. Oh. Now we call this the Kathmandu. Basically, what you're doing is when you look up, you push your bum out and push your belly into the floor and as your chin comes to your chest your grinders in and you're pushing your back to the ceiling and you want to do that in one movement if you can <laughs> really try and force that back into the ceiling and really try and push your stomach to the floor I normally do this about five times. There we go. And I walk forward a little bit on my knees, sitting on my feet. Oh. And then I slowly come back on my hands at first, stretching all your thighs out. And if you can lower onto your elbows. Really pull your air out, get that little bit of extra stretch. And then if you can come down a little bit more, put in your hands underneath your legs and lower yourself down and then reach behind you. And then grabbing your legs again with your hands and by pushing your elbows into the floor, gently raise. And just lean all the way over, throw your arms around, and cap, cap in your fingers. I'm a bit out of sight there, hold on. Now, as you throw your arms around, slowly cap peel your fingers. And just relax there. Brilliant. Right then, sitting on your bum, legs apart. Ooh. Right. Left hand, just above your right knee, and then grab your foot. Now, if you can grab your toes with your, with your wrist, brilliant. If you can't, just try and grab your toes. If you can, even better, and grab your foot. And then you pull your foot towards you and push down. Just hold it there a few seconds. And relax. And then right foot, just above your right knee, not on your knee, just above it. Again, same again on the other side. Toes on your wrist, grab your foot, pull your foot up, and push your leg down. And again, just hold it a few seconds. And relax and this time I want your right hand behind your right bum with your fingers facing the wall arms slightly bent I'm not actually got I'm not actually getting my hand flat I'm actually like that 
nice, nice good posture, keeping your spine nice and straight. Look at your left palm. Again, don't just stretch up. Stretch up and twist, open everything out. And right over and grab your toes. Just hold it there for a second. Letting everything, you can feel everything stretching out now. All down your lats and your hamstrings. And then I want you to breathe all your air out and kiss yourself on the knee. And then bringing your right hand round, grabbing your heel, and pulling yourself to you, pull your chin to your knee. And slowly raise. Let's say on the other side, left hand behind your left bum, fingers facing the wall. Looking at your right palm, up and twist, and all the way over. Just hold it there a second. And then push in with your left hand, and breathe all your air out, kiss yourself on the knee again. And hold it there a second. And then bring your left hand round, grab your heel, wrapping that around, and again, chin to your knee. And raise. Slowly, or as much as you can, open your legs, adjust your bum. Grab your toes, pull your feet towards you. Oh. You feel yourself rock forward just a little bit, not too much. You will feel it, it will hurt a little bit, but you don't want it to hurt uncomfortable. You don't want it to really hurt, you don't want to tear nothing. Just do whatever you find comfortable. And relax. And then your left foot, tuck it inside your right groin, or the right hand side of your inner thigh. Palm of your right hand on the ball of your left knee. Looking at your left palm, raise right up. And now I want to try and grab that foot if I can. Your right foot with my left hand. There we go. And just hold it there a second. Now relax. Then straighten your left leg back out. Your right foot on the inside of your left foot. Oh. Palm your left hand on the ball of your right foot. Looking at the right palm of your right hand. Up and stretch. And then again, reaching that toe. Brilliant. And then legs out in front. Ooh. Right, now what we want to do now is see if you can put your legs between your legs. Nice straight spine. Look at both your palms. Up and stretch. Just hold it there for a second. Pull your feet toward, pull your toes towards you if you can. You can feel that, that's nicely stretching everything out. And then what I do, I reach around the side of my feet. And again, breathe all your air out and lower yourself down. And relax. Then bringing your feet in, so the soles of your feet together. Wrapping your hands, interlink my fingers, and I wrap them underneath my feet. And then with my elbows on the inside of my lower legs. What you want to do now, nice good posture, nice straight spine. You want to bring your toes to your belly button whilst pushing your legs apart and putting your stomach that way, forward. Just like that. Do it again. Just hold it there a second.
Brilliant, and relax. Right, now you do it. Ooh. Feet on the ground. Slowly raise yourself. And so let your body, your weight fall. Now what we do, elbows inside your knees, palms together, fingers facing the floor, and just slowly spread. Hold it there for a couple of seconds. And gently, just raise. Oh, brilliant, you shake it off. Right then, now we finish with north and south. I say finish, there's something we're gonna do in a second which you don't have to do, but I do. Right, hands in your chest, look up, look down. Look up, look down. Elbows out, elbows in. Slowly raise over. Now this time, I should be able to go a bit lower. Pelvis and up behind. Oh. Again, left hand, left hip, looking at your right palm, right up and stretch. And then paint over there. And free arm over. Right hand, right hip, looking at your left palm, and stretch right up and point to your right. And free arm over. Ooh. Grabbing your ball, Ooh. right behind. And that is it, shake it off. Now, for a little bonus, but this is just a little something that I do, you don't have to do this. Ooh. Bear with me, I'll just put my trainers back on. Concerned, what you've just done is plenty. You don't need any more. All it is now, I like to just make sure my hips are nice and loose. So the first thing you do, left fighting stance. It's not a kick or nothing like that. Keep a stiff leg and just go to waist, waist height. Five times. And swap over. And swap over again. And this time in front of your face. And swap over. Shake it off. Hands on your hips. You just do some circles. We're trying to keep your head straight. And the other way. Sound. There you go. And that's all I do three or four nights a week. Like I say, on my rug, in front of the telly, while my missus is watching whatever she's watching or in front of the fire, whatever, it takes 10 to 15 minutes at the most, and you will feel the benefits, guaranteed. So that's it for today. I hope you hoped it, I hope you liked it, rather. Please like, please share, and uh, until next time, you take it easy.